I already did a video on this about what happened. Well, pretty much the, my overall review about this past Raw. But honestly, I just found out something completely new. Something I really didn't expect um, from Mr. Griffin. And I think he saw this from the Lex Man's video. And I also saw a video that the Slay Daddy actually did it on. But honestly, the one thing that really shocks me the most is the fact that the WWE didn't even bother asking Ric Flair if they can even allow them to use his deceased son, Reed, in a storyline. Regardless of the situation that happened that caused Reed's demise, the fact is, is that you have to have some common courtesy and ask the family. Because it has to be painful for them. It hasn't been that long ago. It has to be painful for the family to put something like that out there. And the fact that they actually did not, that he didn't know, shocks me. It really does. Because it's, it, it also kind of puts out a question. Would they have done this to, um, to Owen Hart? Would they have done that to Eddie Guerrero? And yeah, they've done that to uh, 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 to Paul Bearer. We we saw that with his feud with um, or the feud with CM Punk. We actually did see, you know, Paul Bearer getting involved after he passed on. But the thing is, it's just it's in poor taste. You pay these people day in day out, who Lord knows how much money, to come up with a creative storyline to pretty much make your characters your wrestling characters interesting for the wwe universe so why in the world would you think that you want to reach that far down into something as personal as somebody's brother's death to enhance a storyline but there's not even the part of that being in poor taste because it was and it was something that was really unexpected of page to say but my biggest concern is that how much heat is Paige going to get from this? Because I really think, and as, mu as good as Paige is, she's good. I don't think she can handle that much heat. I really don't. The fact that you did it in the Carolinas, of all places, was a bad idea. The fact that it was with Charlotte Flair in the Carolinas was a bad idea. And the fact that you actually had Paige who is not from the Carolinas, to be speaking in Flareland is a bad idea. Because she may get a lot more heat than she can deal with. And it may get too far. So right now, and I actually did see Mr. Griffin's video about saying that, look, you've already went that far. You might as well make her the meanest heel you can possibly make her, unforgiving, unrelentless, and make that belt worth something. I hear his point. I really do. But honestly, how far is it going to go? It can, I know everyone knows that kayfabe is dead. I get it. Kayfabe is dead. It's not coming back in a way I'm happy it's not. But honestly, I'm kind of concerned about how far it's going to go and if she's going to be punished by the actions that they told her to do. And that's my concern with her. I'm concerned that Paige might get buried by this. I mean, Triple H had to go through that with that whole incident in Madison Square Garden. He got, shoot, he got buried for a long time. So Paige is going to go through the same thing too after they told her to do this. Now I know that what Triple H did was voluntary. But this was something they told her to do. I, I, something's telling me that the backlash is going to get so bad that they're going to literally throw her under a bus. And we're not going to see Paige for a while. She's going to get completely mauled and buried at Survivor Series. I don't really see her winning now. I kind of see, um, I kind of see my Mr. Griffin's point, but after all this, I don't think that she's going to take that belt. I think that it's going to be Charlotte, and I think it's going to be the biggest whooping of her life. She's going to get the severe beating, <laughs> and it's going to make her look bad. I hope that's not the case. I hope I'm wrong, but honestly, I don't see any good coming out of this. I don't. I really wish I could be more positive because I'm not going to lie, on my review, I didn't really see much of it because, yeah, that's a really cheap way of getting heat. And that's how I saw it, a cheap way of giving getting heat. It was bad, it was in poor taste, but it was a cheap way of getting heat. But finding out that Rick possibly did not know that they were going to do that is flat out wrong.
and it really puts a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths, especially in flare land. The Carolinas is flare land, and you really have that memory in everybody's brain in flare land. Yeah. I think that was the worst idea possible. Whoever came up with that idea really wasn't thinking. <sighs> but all I can say is I have a huge amount of concern for Paige. I don't think that she can handle this load of, of backlash and heat. I don't know if she's going to be able to get through this. But I pray that they won't bury her for their mistake. But guys, I want to hear your thoughts about this topic. Leave a comment in the comment section below. I, I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about it. Because honestly, I really hope that Flair, uh, I really hope that the Flair family, well, honestly, I, I pray for the Flair, the, Flair, the Flair family and everything that they're going through. But I also have huge concerns for Paige. I hope she doesn't get buried by their own stupidity. But something's telling me that she is. They got to have some kind of comeuppance, and especially with the Flair family. So I don't necessarily see Paige coming out on top. But honestly, guys, I want to hear your thoughts. Nature Girl 30 signing off. Peace out. Later.